All right, so this is how your ST10 Plus transmitter will look when you've booted it up if your Q500 is turned off and not connected to the camera. This is relatively standard. You won't see any satellite connectivity for the Q500. You may or may not see any for the ST10, which we're looking at now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll back the firmware for the ST10 back to version 1.04 which is the most stable platform the most stable firmware in which this entire series was developed upon and initially released with okay so once you're powered up make sure you've got enough battery that your ST10 is charged to pull this off the first thing we're going to do is go into system settings okay Enter OK. Now, what we're going to see is a few things. First thing we're going to go in is about flight mode control. Here we're going to see our type of ST10, and we, for this example, have a ST10 Plus running Android 4.0.3. Kernel version, who cares what that means? That's for programmers, developers, it's not for us. Build number. If we look at our build number, we see that we are. ST10 Plus, let's see if I can get the light to work for us, ST10 Plus V01B15C, hardware version 1.4. Now, if we scroll it, we've got a couple of op options. We can control conduct a radio control update. Now, in order to do this, we are going to have had to, on the side of our ST10, there's a mini USB plug. We're going to have to have connected that to our computer to a non-USB 3 port. The port that you connected onto your computer should not be a USB plug that the inside is blue. That would be a USB 3 port. You do not want to connect to a USB 3 port. You want to contact, con, uh, connect to a legacy, an older USB 1 or 2 port. If you connect to a USB 3 port, the blue one, you may hear a chiming sound on your computer. It may attempt to download and install the drivers, and then the drivers will fail because you're connecting to a USB 3 port. We only want to use the older legacy 1 or 2 version USB ports that are not blue in color. They should be black in color. Okay. Once you've connected to your computer, it's going to open up in my computer as if it were a, a cell phone or a, another hard drive or a USB drive. Okay. Mine showed, or my computer, it just simply showed ST10. I double clicked it. Okay. And what I did at that point is I down I went to hypephoto.com slash q500 uh, mods and downloaded the 1.4 version firmware. I'll put a link in the video description for you here. Okay, it's going to download with a specific lengthy file name, version 1.4, blah blah blah, and all that. Doesn't matter. When you download it, rename it to update.zip. That's what the ST10 Plus is expecting to see when you conduct the update. So the file that you download, once you uh, uh, retrieve it and it's on your computer, rename it to update.zip and copy that file to your connected ST10 Plus controller as it appears in your Windows computer from my computer. It will show as a device. Mine showed as an ST10. I opened it up. There was a few folders in there. I placed the update, the renamed update.zip right in the root of the, copied it to the root of that uh, ST10 device. Gave it a second or two to copy, then I unplugged it from the ST10 device. And at that point, I was, let me go home, I powered on my ST10, and I got this screen, and of course it's waiting right now to connect to the Seago camera, it never will, it's not turned on, so what we're going to do is bypass this by going into system settings, alright, and we're going to Enter OK. About flight mode controller. We're going to verify all of our, our uh, attributes. We're at ST10 model number, ST10 plus, 
our build number, that's the firmware, firmware version number, the internals of that, and we're at hardware version 1.4. We're going to select update system update. It's going to say OK, yes or no, cancel. We're going to say OK. Now it's updating. This will go on for maybe a minute or so. It doesn't, go, it doesn't take very long. What you do at this point is nothing. Don't reboot it. Don't think that it's hung. Don't think that it's stuck. Don't power it off. Don't do anything. Just let this do what it's doing. So many people are tempted to inter intervene right there. You may see the uh, Android logo, which is a little green looking robot. Here we go. We're into uh, the root mode at that point, making the firmware update. And it's going to reboot the machine. Now because I already had version 1.04 on here, we've basically updated it again with the same firmware version. But what you just witnessed when it rebooted, appeared to be hung, showed the Android uh, robot thing, it's powering back up. We're going to go back into system settings. Okay. By the way, you can adjust your volume right here with the minus and plus. Just in case you didn't know, I discovered that accidentally. But go into System Settings, and here you can confirm the version under About Flight Mode Control of your ST10 that you're working with, the build number of the firmware, and we're working under version 1.4. Okay? So, that's how to update the firmware for the ST10+. Plus. The next one's going to be how to update the firmware on the the Q500 plus quadcopter, not the 4K version, the Q500 plus with the Seagull 2 camera.